What up guys, Mike Mountain here coming at you with Paradigm. So there was a little break between me last playing this and me playing this now because I actually did do about uh, two episodes like a couple weeks ago and my recording crashed so I had to get all the way back here again. I've started saving in new slots every time I save now so if I do fuck something up I have can at least like just roll back to my last playthrough. So here I am again. Uh, there are a couple things, like it's not gonna be as good for me either. That was the other part of this was that, like I already got all the funny parts, I reacted to them, like it's just gonna be me like going through, okay, 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 I've heard this, I've heard this, I've heard this. And I don't know if it'll have the same effect to me. Uh, I'll still play, you know, I wanna finish this game. I have no idea how far along I am in it, but uh, yeah, so we, uh, we were, last in uh, this room, the office, <clears throat> excuse me, where we had to uh, drink the water coolum, water cooler of doom to death, which is pretty sweet. So let's just uh, get out of, come on, <laughs> get out of here. Some things don't lose their effect, like the door just <laughs> clearly being pulled open. So we're in a, a hallway. Oh no, don't go all the way over there. It appears this is one of the many hallways. At least the amount of calories I burn at the end of this adventure will allow me to eat a... This weekend... Fuck me, this weekend I ate two of those Ben and Jerry tubs of ice cream just like over three days I had two of them. I just sit there and I just be digging away at it and it's just like, holy shit. Ugh, I felt like garbage after. Whoa, this is actually pretty cool. It's a two pretty okay. cassette. I heard they only made one batch because children began to herald them as the one true god. Let's do this. All right, so. <laughs> Noise. Hey, we got a map back. Because we lost our map, I believe. Right, gotcha. Yes, thank you. Nice, we got a tour, we got some games, some tunes. Uh, oh. Welcome to the official tour for Duper Genetics. We'd like to dispel the rumors of being an evil company and take you on a wonder-filled trip that in no way will cause you <laughs> any injury. Unless, of course, you are spying for the Ethics Union, in which case we are not responsible for your painful, fatal accident. Emphasis on accident for all you lawyers out there. Hola! Please step onto the red dot at the end of the hall when you are ready. Okie doke. I assume that's... Oh, this dot? Yes, this dot. Congratulations! You made it to the red dot without dying. You are not ethics union scum. This concludes our tour of the Duper Genetics <laughs> Facility. As a closing note, those cheap bastards couldn't pay for any more uh, voiceover. How am I supposed to live on these terrible wages? I'm taking you down with me, Duper Genetics. You <laughs> hear me? This whole place is going to explode any second! Oh. Get away from me! <laughs> Thank you again juicy. for attending the Dupa Genetics Tour. Have a nice day. Sounds like he was ethics union scum. Or treated like such. So, uh... What is that? Just a hole? Okay. I do recall seeing on I this... I need this for... No. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna use it. So there's tunes. There's one tune. Selling to more local... More Lokians. No, I don't think so. Oh, cool. I can... So there's a dungeon. There's a church? Head Mart? I've only actually been to the elevator and more hallways. But I do recall last time uh, I was playing the post-apocalyptic uh, dating sim. Uh, so I will show you guys what this is. Last time I played... So it's a game within a game, which is great. Oh fuck, there's rumbling <laughs> and I forgot that apparently I can use my controller for this? Can I? No, I can't, but my controller was vibrating anyways. That was the 
Weirdest fucking thing. I'm looking out the window to see if there's like an earthquake or something. I don't get it. But yeah, so there's you could date Noodle Hands Nelson. I went on a date with him, so I'm gonna try dating someone else. So, uh, haha, I don't know what I'm doing on here. I, I never know what to write on these things. What I really like is hanging out with friends. Love food. Music is the best. Also, if you have a dog or a cat, I definitely want to date you. Family is everything. Fuck. So goddamn boring. Really good at grabbing things from far away. First thing people notice, my brow for sure. Takes me every morning to sculpt it, but so worth it. Six of my favorite things I can never do without. Bowl cut monthly magazine, Crocs, <laughs> deep fried rat, hand moisturizer, divas, parties, haha. That's why I went on a date with that guy. He's a catch and a half. And then there's Tina Toaster, I think. Yeah, Tina Toaster. My name is Toaster3000, but I'm formerly known as Tina Toaster. Formerly known, okay. I may have a cold outer metal shell, but on the inside, I'm hot as hell. I'll be there for you nutritionally and emotionally for you in the morning, and of course, on those late nights after a big night out and you forgot to buy groceries, and all there is is weak old bread and jam. I hate my aunt. <laughs> Make sure your buns ooh, and bread are toasty, sometimes at the same time. First thing people notice, ew, you're moldy. I'm red hot when people know what buttons to press. Can't do without a constant power source, bread, sensual button, and switch, touching, lifetime warranty. That's five things. Or fucking count. And there's like the duck guy. Jerry the human duck. I'm a duck who grew up in a small farm but wound up in the big city. Sometimes I miss the clean water. Definitely not the old peeps who still believe in mutated duck people segregation. I came to the city to spring my wings. Haha, <laughs> mutation left out my wings and start my hip hop career. It's really good at rapping and eating breadcrumbs. First thing people notice, my dope shoes. I ordered them online. They may be from the overlord AI that destroyed the world in the first place, but they make awesome shoes. I am also pretty quiet. Six of my favorite things I can never do without. Dope shoes, cash money, bread, Bogdan. Bogdan? Moisturizer, Divas, Dope Tunes. That's seven things, although... Yeah, it's seven things. Fuck, these people can't count. That's also why I went on a date with What's-His-Face. Old Stretch Arms. Uh, because he could count. But I'm gonna go on a date with Tina Toaster. What do you do? What do you do for a living? I'm a handyman, I got all the tools you need, baby. Scrap artist, I turn old objects to large sculptures that look erotic. Slowly drain the life force out of wanderers, technically a parasite. I'm gonna... Do the eroticism part. Ooh, that fizzled out. Oh, there's, I didn't realize the toaster's like right there. What do you do for fun? Uh, survival, honestly, it's hot hell out here. How do you have time for hobbies? Ooh. Polishing metal. I like to polish metal so I can see my terrifying face in the reflection. Nice, she likes that. Describe yourself in three words. Pa passionate, bloodlusting, kawaii. Pathetic, self-loathing, self-loathing, good cook. Ooh, that definitely says good cook. Damn it! All right, the self-loathing part. Self-loathing. Probably I can't pronounce that, that's why. If I ever had rust, would this bother you? Uh, only if you allow me to use WD-40, but that, okay. Uh, nothing like a bit of coarse roughness to grate away at my skin. Ooh. So I'm, I'm batting 500 right here. If I asked you to, would you stick a fork inside of me? That's pretty kinky. Well, I would die, so no. Yeah, no. All right, I got... Would your parents accept me? They're a bit appl appliancist, but they'll get over it. Cannibal rating party, ate them, so that shouldn't be a problem. My mother's a bender, blender, so yes, definitely. Yeah, Meta is a blender. Back to 500, I can do this. Would you ever use me without a surge protector? Uh, no, I wouldn't want to put you at risk. Your th yeah. Oh yeah. I'm above. How long would it take you to for you to engrave your name and address on me? Who fucking labels a toaster? Depends on each appliance. May take up to a week or a year. Well, not into that whole owning an appliance thing. Weird. I fall fast. Depends on each appliance. Yeah. Because I don't engrave my toasters. What would you rather be in life? Normal, weird, or weird. All-knowing being from the fourth dimension. Well, yeah. Nice. That's a hot streak. Are you happy with your life? Well, I haven't eaten yet, so that is a plus. Oh, been eaten yet. I literally have no feelings after machete went through my skull. Only when I'm making cheese toasties. I assume that's what grilled... Ch What's a cheese toastie? Whatever, she likes it. What is your favorite game? Not getting killed in the rubble land, to be honest. Hide and seek leftover ammunition. Collecting appliances. No. Ammunition. 
Hide and seek leftover ammunition. Uh, yes. No. Damn. Should have with the surviving. If you're an animal, what would you be? Ooh, radioactive mutant cat. Lizard cat sounds pretty cool. Rubble lion. I'd be a lion. Fuck you, toaster. What's the right answer for that? Is jealousy healthy in a relationship? No, it is. If it brings some spice into the hammock, yes. Yes, helps prevent outsiders from impeding on your gene chain. All right. If I lost my ability to toast, would you stay with me? No. No more toast and I'm out. Sorry, because what point is there a toaster for? All right, and I think I'm back down to 500 again. Yep. Would you be offended if I used extension cable from time to time? I think you're beautiful with or without the extension cable. I don't care. The longer the better. Yeah, I don't care. Damn it. Do you like scary movies? Yes. If it has a good plot. Fuck you. What's the worst thing on a first date? Going like six wrong in a row. Running out of fuel in the power generation, no physical attraction, lack of bread to toast. Let's get back into this. Am I creative? I specialize in toasted bread art. I'm trying to date a toaster to cover my loneliness. I'm pretty creative. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think she'd like that. It would like that? Are you open to trying new things? I am trying to date a toaster. Ah, I once ate a slab of cement. It was an interesting few days. That's something I would do. Are you usually on time or late? On time, having the ability to teleport is pretty great. Uh, yeah. Nice. Enough questions, let's get into some foreplay. Show me what you got. Foreplay mode. Um, just bread. Just, can I just keep on tossing bread at it? I mean, it's pretty hard to, or it's, it's not very hard to get into floor, foreplay mode with a thing of bread. Ooh, my heat setting is getting awfully high. Let's go somewhere a little more romantic. Show me your skills. <laughs> oh yeah. Can I let go of this? No, I can't. But I can just toast. Is this is this all I do? I just toast. Oh. <laughs> okay. I think I. Uh... Oh yeah, toast my buns. I just got an achievement. Tina Toaster has taken a liking to you. They'll toast your buns anytime, anywhere. Just give them a good polish and tighten a few screws and you'll have a strong committed relationship. Just don't go looking at any sandwich presses. Ha ha ha. All right, that's enough of the dating game. It's actually kind of, it's pretty clever. Like the game within a game is pretty funny. Uh, and then there's like another game that you can do. And it's called Existential or Endless Existential Runner. And this is it. This is the game. You can't actually do anything. It's coming in 10 years from now. 2027 Game info Endless Existential Runner is the only Endless Runner in which the player stays stationary Instead of avoiding physical obstacles You avoid life's responsibilities The more you avoid, the more your score goes up However, watch out Make sure your stress and anxiety meter don't reach maximum Doesn't reach maximum capacity Otherwise, that is game over Kitty that, That's it, it's just got sweet tune This actually were pretty sweet tunes. All right, uh, all right, let's go to the next part of the hallway. Ooh. Ugh, weird. Feels like I've been here before. Yeah, we're gonna press the red button. I swear to God, if you do any weird stuff, I'm going to be so upset. I love his voice. I'm not sure how effective the sound okay. treatment is on buttons, but I am going to do it. <laughs> Whoever the voice actor is. Oh, no. Instant rave button. Oh my. <laughs> Thank god that is over. I was actually a raver one time in my life. Then I was in a fatal shuffling accident. Ten people died that wow. day. That was the day I hanged up my fat bit. <laughs> Hang. Hey! Laser pointer, nice. Tick. Pick up. Noise. 
I used to tease an alley cat with one of these. And it got a restraining <laughs> order against me. Alright, I guess uh, that's the organizer. Pretty sure there was nothing interesting in that. I, lo I was I was saying I love Oh John Oh my it's my John 3 DS again Oh There's... god thank god you called Is the station still going to explode? What the fuck is with the oh. baby? Yeah about that baby I can't have made that up just so I could have a few birds over and have some privacy. You're always at home mate and I I need some privacy. No hard feelings, bear dog. Ugh <laughs> I'm going to unplug you for at least a month next time I see you. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Can you uh, help me get away from wherever I am? Yeah. Nah. Looks like I'm on my own again. <laughs> this place ain't so bad. You dickhead. Save for the underlying feeling of doom and extreme anxiety about why someone would teleport me through space and time only to be imprisoned by a talking water cooler. That's fair. What the fuck is with these babies? No, oh, not my inventory. But no, I want to look at the babies. Why did my inventory these, come up? These feelings. What is this? That I was feel me. A special connection with them. <laughs> Look at those stupid baby arms. <laughs> Alright, who the fuck are you? Cupcake salesman? Hello? Welcome to Cuppy Cupcakes. We put the eggs in cupcakes. Implying that you ache because you ate right. so much, not because you got food poisoning. <laughs> So, I, I guess it's actually been more than a couple of weeks that I've played this, because I have very little memory. Like, I remember the cupcake person and the funny babies, but, like, you don't think about that until you get back to it. Uh... I would like to purchase a Sorry. cupcake, please. Sure. Do you have cash, membership, or a coupon? No, no. I, I don't think so. No cupcake for you. Uh, cupcake Nancy. Uh, See, I'll get my cupcakes I'll later. Your I feel like that's all I need. Later. I, I gotta this find a cupcake eventually. This isn't a cupcake library. Make sure to bring a coupon or cash. Hmm. Maybe I should start the cupcake library. What would be- what- you eat the cupcake and how do you return it? So, can I look at the vending machine? Can I use it? I don't have any Skrillas. Ooh. Can I, like, hit the machine? Instant Swedish Human. Blackest, most cult cassette in existence. Cooling fire, instant tree seeds. Plus one life. Ooh, that would be handy. I have no monies, though. Five. Enter. Bro, this ain't free. I need that cash money. <laughs> Cruise marks. Can I shake it? Oh, man. This vending machine doesn't have a talking sentient sea creature as a cashier. What a jib. No, okay. Can I pick it up? What happens if I pick up? I've always wondered what it would feel like to bear my neck. Can I unplug it? No, I can't. Alright, let's just uh, use the elevator. Bing. So this is about as far as I got in the last time. So. I am shocked and appalled. Oh, this is rat. the first elevator I've been in which doesn't have the smooth Chris smell of urine. Someone in management is clearly dropping the ball. Complimentary high five. Nitbe. That's a Russian for a high five. Anyways, uh, I actually did forget about how, or I forgot like how fun this game is. Like it, it's still really cleverly written and everything like that. I was just kind of burnt out that I lost all my progress. Well, not all of it. I lost a bunch of progress and. You know, I'm catching up to it. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Just, you know, when you when you fuck up, and you're just like, bah, bah. You never want to touch it again. So that was me. I'm back into it now. Uh, gonna cut it here. This is uh, close to where I was before. There's a turd. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it here. So uh, if you guys like, you know, if you guys like Paradigm, let me know in the comments. Tell me if you want to see me keep playing this. I know it's been a while. Uh, I, I got to finish it up, so. I'm going to keep playing it, but tell me what you guys think of this game. Uh, feel free to like the video if you like what I'm doing. Dislike it if you don't, you know, the feedback is great. Uh, and I will catch you guys on the flip side.